This is all unfolding about 20 minutes after the Juneteenth celebrations wrapped up near Martin Luther King Drive and Chamber Street. 12 News Madison Moore is live at 5 in Madison. A community group tried to prevent something like this from happening on Monday. Yeah, Derek, a team from Comforce MKE was out here all day yesterday during those Juneteenth celebrations trying to prevent violence. They say they were breaking up fights for hours before those shots rang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> for hours. So the, the, the violence interrupters and the, the programmers, they were doing their thing. So, I mean, shout out to them. Um, it's, it's, it was, I guess that's Didn't what work. Was. Wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they did. I mean, that 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 fight. I mean, that shooting could have happened a lot earlier, though, had they not been breaking up. Oh right. Oh, oh, you you writing the grant letter for them now? Yeah, man. I'm. I mean, I, I I'm impressed though. Like, cause they were down there. Like they knew that they would need. They knew that you want to need something. Cause when you see sons behaving for a period of time. You think, oh, okay, well, nothing kicked off. But the whole time, it was this team of fucking ex-cons and seasoned fucking violence interrupters down there in the midst of the fucking crowd breaking up fights all day long. Be begging them to be cool? Yeah, so you're thinking like, oh, man, it was cool until it wasn't. When actually, man, it was fucking chaos the whole fucking time. It's yeah, just... It's just a fire the whole time. It's <laughs> Calm down a little bit. It just, it just exploded at the end, man. Make sure you take the five dollar challenge, man. Support the channel, man. Yeah, Bo Booty Head News Network. Support the Booty Head yeah, News Network. Man. Yeah, man. Because I need, I need to give me some, some, some old. Because give me some booty head, man. On the side, man. I need a, um, I need a booty head mistress, man. Bring out see another person here and then it's another person here and it just it just it was a lot a chaotic scene unfolding monday afternoon law enforcement first responders and community activists like com force mke rushed to the area where six teens were shot i remember running up to them with the tourniquet and seeing she was shot in the neck and we couldn't even use that on that cell phone video of shot in the neck oh my god and we couldn't even use that on that. Cell phone video obtained by 12 News shows victims scattered across the street. Jesus, save her, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Police believe the shooting stemmed from a... God. Shot her in the fucking neck. Yikes. Yo, yo, got it. Like, yo, don't put me in this shit. Yeah, like... Yeah, he's like, I sent you the violence interrupters, man. That's it, right? Fuck. What else you want from me? The victims, ranging in age from 14 to 19, two of them arrested in connection with the shooting. Mays and his team were at the Juneteenth celebration Monday, specifically working to prevent this type of violence. And actually, that particular incident was a furtherance of a, a fight that we broke up prior. Those same people were involved in the fight prior. The organization came out in full force this year as a woman was shot after last year's Juneteenth celebration. <laughs> you can't make this shit up at all. Hey, Wicked, the chat wants to know if the, uh, this shit goes down after Cinco de Mayo. Not like we don't we don't got it like the some people, man. We trying though. Nah, you ain't trying hard enough, man. Because all the violence we covered on Cinco de Mayo was some people. All the violence on um on St. Patrick's Day was some people. Yikes. Yeah, put put down the tool belt and pick up the glizzy, man. Stop playing. <laughs> Most of the violence of the Puerto Rican Day Parade with some people. Damn. So, salute the Society of Benevolence, man. Ock Nation Hall of Famer, man. Yeah, make sure y'all hit that. Make sure y'all support the channel, man. This listen, man. This is this is just chronicling this stuff, man. It's just like like God, man, I'm even like, I'm not even going to act like I'm fucking Walter Cronkite and shit, man. I'm fucking shocked by this shit. And I'm thinking back in my life and I'm like, damn, I used to be around sons all the time. I used to be in sun places. We would go somewhere uh, to a, a fucking hood or a project and 
he get out the car and hang out and uh, associate with the sons right there. Didn't even know him. And I'm just like, damn, I was I was always around sons, man. This shit is just like it makes you feel like you know what I'm saying, like you escaped something, man, almost. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the part that I was thinking about it recently. I it amazes me is I, I've been fucking with you on the regular, like, on here for almost two years now, literally. It's been the same exact shit consistently. This shit's been going on, and it's gonna keep going on. Yeah, it's no it's no solutions, man. It's literally like watching somebody play Grand Theft Auto. Damn. Yeah, right. It, yeah, it is. It's like, it's like Groundhog Day. I exactly. That's one of my favorite movies. Bill Murray, Groundhog Day. I love that movie, man. But it's um, kind of like that, right? Am I wrong? Oh no, it's it's it's, it's definitely like that. Because every day he tried to learn something new, like he learned how to speak different languages. He learned how to um to to to, to make the girl like him and shit. He he learned how to you know get get the, get the cheeks and shit. He learned how to play pool and shit. He learned how to do all this stuff, and it didn't matter to say she was going to like, like these, it's so redundant. It's yeah. so redundant, but yeah, it's so like still different. Yeah, man. The organization came out in full force this year as a woman was shot after last year's Juneteenth celebration. Hey! You do anticipate that uh, there will be some level of, of issue or violence, not nowhere near could we ever have imagined what happened yesterday. Do you feel like your efforts yesterday did help to potentially prevent even more of these shootings. Absolutely. Um, that's the one thing that you guys don't hear about. So like they say violence prevention, where's violence prevention when shots rang out? But do you know that there was violence prevention before there were shots rang out? And those shots happened over there, but we prevented four or five other things over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, like, yeah. it's over here. And Madison, you spoke to spoke to uh, Police Chief Jeffrey Norman within the last hour. What did he say? Yeah, the chief spoke with us just in the last few uh, in the last hour. Excuse me, Derek, and he said that he uh, praised his officers for their response to the shooting yesterday, as well as those community groups that helped, including the one we just heard from. I know that we had a lot of different support in that particular uh, response. We had our officers, obviously very proud of what they did, but we also had a lot of help from the community. Uh, we had the Office of Violence Prevention, 414 for Life. You know, I had another community responders who were helping out, being able to, you know, bring down the uh, stress levels and, you know, be able to, you know, encourage people to leave and disperse from out of the area. Um, salute to TVK. He says, don't feel bad. I, I hung out in the 80s with some and didn't Think about getting killed at all. Things are very different now. Well, yeah, the eighties was fucking terrible. Where the fuck he was at? Yeah. Now the chief does tell me that the fourteen girls that were hurt during the shooting, he says that they are all expected to survive. Madison Moore reporting live in Milwaukee. And